Welcome to Reloading from the Hot Pot. Here, I like to do good gun, gear, and accessory reviews, plus share a little bit about my life. If you're not subscribed, please consider giving a subscribe below, turn the bell notification on, always give a like, and please share. Welcome back my pupils, this is Gene coming to you with Reloading from the Hot Pot. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the G3 Tactical, that's the Taurus, and the Keep Tinkering Trigger. This is my Taurus G3 Tactical. I am really, really liking this firearm. I still got a couple things to do to it. Um, I want to get the comp for it, and I also want to get the uh, the steel guide rod and spring for it. But I have done the striker sleeve, the stainless steel striker sleeve, and the spring kit in it, and the keep tinkering trigger. The red dot I have on it is the ADE Stingray. I was testing out the Vector Optics uh, for my daily carry on this, and it has done great. It's held zero. So that has been moved to my daily carry, which is my Sig Sauer P365 XL. And I'm really, really happy with it. But let's talk about this keep tinkering trigger. First, we are gonna show clear, nothing in the chamber, nothing in the magwell, no ammunition or magazines on the review bench. This keep tinkering trigger is amazing. It took up all of the take up. <laughs> it took up all of the take up that came with the stock trigger. Now there's the wall, crisp break, and fast reset. And I think it looks really good on the Taurus G3 Tactical. Uh, these do fit any of the Taurus series uh, the G3, the G3 Tactical, the G2. Uh, pretty much all the line of the this Taurus G series trigger works in. Now, it's kind of a funny name on there, but um, as you can see in the next little video shot, um, it is very, very nice, very crisp, very clean, and very easy to shoot. The trigger does take up a little bit more space, so if you have gloved fingers, if you have anything on other than a very tight-fitting glove, you're really not going to get your finger in the trigger guard using this trigger. But uh, is it worth it? Yes. Is it worth it not to shoot with gloves on? Yes, it is. Absolutely fabulous. I couldn't be happier with it. It did take away the double strike capabilities, so you did lose the double strike capability in the Taurus, but that's not a big deal. And I hear worries about, well, there's no, there's no blade safety on it. Well, keep your finger off the trigger unless you're shooting something, okay? I mean, that's just that's that's the rule of firearm safety is if you're not if you're not shooting keep your finger up here on the memory pad Taurus has a nice little indentation here for a memory pad i might go ahead and stipple that on both sides just for some um, better reference points but as far as the trigger goes i would definitely take the time to get the keep tinkering trigger and put it in your Taurus g series i'm going to finish this off with just some more shots at the range testing this trigger out it worked wonderful. I had no failures with it. And, uh, well, that's all I got. So enjoy the next little bit of a shooting. And, um, man, always remember to keep blowing the smoke. Uh, pretty much all the line of the Taurus G series, this keep tinkering, keep tinkering, <laughs> keep tinkering trigger works in.